Hello everyone, Triple N I here and today I thought I'd show you yet another circuit which is a part of the safety system of my railgun which lies here. So this thing, this part of the circuit is a capacitor discharger to safely discharge my capacitor bank in case I don't need the charge on it. This red LED indicates that it's discharging and that there's a dangerous voltage across the capacitor still. This is a 680 ohm around a half a watt resistor that directly discharges the capacitor bank and these three diodes they are connected in series to this resistor so they have a voltage drop of 2.1 volts which turns on this LED whenever there's a dangerous voltage across it and this is just a current limiting resistor this is the diagram although I don't have a 2.2k 3 watt resistor and this is the second part of my circuit which is a fuse blown indicator so for now this orange wire represents the fuse and the red LED is the fault condition LED it turns on when the fuse has blown so I turn on my power supply and nothing happens but the moment I blow the fuse by which I mean pull out the wire Oh, anticlimactic. Yep. So I turn my power supply on and I blow the fuse by which I mean pull the wire. And the red LED lights up and it stays on till I replace the fuse or just reset the circuit breaker. And that's it. Simple circuit to show that a fuse has blown. So this is the diagram. This is the fuse PNP transistor. I'm using a BC567. A normal diode, a 1N4007, a 47K resistor, and my LED matrix, if I can call that one, my railgun's LED system. So, when the fuse has not blown, a current passes through this diode and creates a voltage drop across this resistor, which turns off this PNP transistor because it needs 0 volts to turn on. As soon as this fuse has blown, there's no voltage here, the base gets pulled down to ground, the transistor turns on, taking power from the main batteries and lighting up this LED. So that's how it works. So I have been paying a bit of attention to safety, as you can see. Thank you for watching.